thinking about how we can incorporate a different set of rules about how to engage in the course and in the syllabus specifically was something that was really kind of interesting to me. The approach that I ended up using came to me through my theoretical perspective. It stems from French philosophers Deleuze and Guattari who talk about something called the rhizome. So you can imagine that the rhizome is like a book and inside the book there are chapters and we usually read chapters um, you know, first, second, third, fourth, we read them in order, they're considered linear, they're considered to add to one another as you go down. Now, when Deleuze and Guattari wrote their book, they said, let's not look at the book as a linear approach. Ask the readers to enter it from anywhere and at any point. I decided that this would be a kind of fantastic way to think about syllabus design. Design the syllabus or the course so that students could literally pick it up from anywhere and start thinking about these really complex ideas from there. Why start by giving students a definition when you can give them maybe a really concrete example, something that they would connect with because they've chosen it. I think a lot of people's criticisms to this might be like, well, I want students to participate in week one with week one literature. But what you'll be surprised to find out is that students who are doing readings that they like, that they've chosen, that they've engaged with, will actually come and participate in week one with readings from week three. They'll actually start to make connections between ideas that would otherwise not be there until maybe the end of the, at the, end of the course. So it's, a, it's just a process of engaging students in a different way and that matches more how we think and learn.